nothing much more cozy than curling up with a cup of tea and eating a piece of coffee cake on a weekend morning. And it happens to be vegan using all plant-based ingredients so everybody can enjoy it. Make this for your next brunch and people are gonna go crazy over it. Let me show you how to make it. What we have here is one and a quarter cups of einkorn flour. You can use this or just regular all-purpose flour is fine or even gluten-free all-purpose flour. My daughter is helping us. She's going to add one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. This is one half cup of maple sugar, or you can use raw cane sugar. So that's it for our dry ingredients. Now we're going to mix together our wet ingredients. Here we have one cup of almond milk. We're adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Then we're going to add one third cup of melted coconut oil, or you could use applesauce in place of the oil. This has been melted, but you want to work it in quickly so that it doesn't start to firm up and get lumpy. I could have melted this even a little bit more, but it's going to work out. Just make sure your coconut oil is nice and liquidy. So it worked much better to actually warm all of the liquid ingredients together because our coconut oil was uh, kind of solidifying on contact with the cold milk. So I'm going to pour this in. Anya's going to mix it. Now we're going to add one cup of diced peaches. Pour the batter into a lightly greased 8x8 eight eight pan. To make the topping, we have 3 fourths cup of our einkorn corn flour, or again, you can use all-purpose flour. Anya has one third cup of chopped walnuts, one third cup of packed brown sugar, this is one quarter teaspoon of sea salt, this is one teaspoon of cinnamon and a tiny pinch of nutmeg. This is four tablespoons of softened coconut oil. Fails, just get in there with your hands and mix it together. Just until you get a nice crumbly texture. Then just evenly sprinkle the crumb mixture over the top of the cake. Now bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes or until it's nice and golden on top and a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. So after your coffee cake has cooled after baking for 45 to 50 minutes, you can go ahead and dust it with some powdered sugar. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make that coffee cake. Wasn't it easy? Comment below if you end up making it, and if you have any questions at all, I always check the comments and I'll answer all your questions. If it's your first time visiting, welcome. I hope you subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll find out about videos that I release generally every Wednesday. Thanks for watching and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Take care.